Origami Foldable Journey Centangle All Summer Today we're gonna make this origami journal and we're gonna talk about the technique of Centangle and it's a two-step project, it's our last project of the school year Follow along and have fun! The supplies you're gonna need is this little package with four white papers and one color card stock and your centangle handout, both sharpies, pencil, glue and scissors. Uh, first remove the staple, separate your package. You have four white uh, photocopy papers but you only need three for the book, the origami, origami book. Uh, so the fourth one can be to practice your centangles or just in case you need to repeat one of your shapes. We need to create uh, an origami square base paper and you have a rectangular uh, paper so like I've showed you before pull the top corner and try to find the angle of your square. So once you have that corner match your margins and press down. Now um, use your pencil to trace where the cut need to be made. That way you have a very symmetrical square, just like that. Repeat this step with all your white paper. Now we have all the paper ready and let's remember what we did with the butterfly uh, origami shape. We divided our paper, we folded it in all halves possible. So let's start by to making the second diagonal. You already have one fold there so let's just do the second diagonal. And for the two other halves flip your paper like a pancake and this will help you find the shape that we need. Get your folds, press them down. Don't forget to mark those press uh, those folds very well. Now here's the tricky part. Depending on your folds, you'll have a triangle base. See how I'm gonna uh, press on the middle and collapse my shape. Now I have a triangle base. That's the one we used for the butterfly. If I open my paper. And, and press down on the center again and I collapse my shape now I have a square water bomb base that's the one and that's the shape that we're gonna need for our origami foldable book that's it we're done with the steps for origami repeat it repeat the steps three times you need to have three of these water bomb base for our origami book Okay, now open up all your squares and place them as a, as a rhombus just like that and each rhombus is divided in four squares. One of the squares is going to uh, be on top of the other one and we're going to make those folds match and then we're going to glue them together and get our foldable origami book. So pay close attention to where uh, to place your paper in order to get your book to fold correctly. Now uh, you can see my glue, it's purple, so I only apply glue on that square and I overlap 
the second paper on top of it, making the folds match. And before I secure rubbing, uh, pressing down the paper, I make sure that it folds. So I just lift it up a little bit and double check that it's not, um, I'm not too off and that my lines are uh, matching perfectly. And repeat the same step on your last paper. So you can see here by my purple glue where you will be placing the glue and what's the square that it's going to overlap. And there you have it. The next step is just making sure the folds are in the right direction and making the cover of our origami book. So my first uh, and my last page, the folds are in the right direction. Only the middle origami shape will need to fold in the opposite way. So I'm going to close my page number one, bring the whole shape up and then just uh, invert this side of us, the square, making it fold in the opposite way, like that. Don't worry, it looks hard, but it, the paper will remember where, where you want it to go. And the last page just folds the normal way. It might give, take you uh, a couple tries to open it and, and fold your book back together, but it's pretty simple. And just uh, play with it for a little bit, and then let's do the cover. Now bring your color card stock. Once that your paper is all dried, that your glue has dried, and uh, you already know how to fold it correctly, it's almost like an accordion book. We're gonna use the card stock to make the cover. So fold your paper, your card stock, vertically in half, like this. We're going to place our origami book on top, matching the corners, trace a line, cut that line, divide our squares, and then glue them as a cover and a back for our book. And now your origami journey is done, and you get to choose what to you, uh, how, how to fill it up. Uh, I chose to send you some centangling because I think it's amazing for the brain to learn to doodle and centangle and unwind. So I'm going to start by showing you some of my designs. Okay, now it's time to centangle. This is a journey that you're going to have along uh, uh, with you all summer, so you don't have to finish uh, filling it up all summer. I want you to just learn to centangle and it's kind of like a yoga for the brain that's the whole point of the centangles uh, when you sit down and repeat these little centangles and patterns our brain really um, unwinds and it relaxes it it relaxes our brain and it's great to meditation to do a little meditation while we doodle so centangles are kind of doodles but they have uh, more of a structure I've gave you a handout with some samples and I'm going to show you one of them and I'm just going to practice one of them uh, here with you and following the steps. You can create your own tangles, you can do doodle and you can also add writing. So your journal can be if you're going to be learning to make new recipes, you can write your recipes down and on the em empty spaces you can tangle and centangle. Um, you can write uh, ideas or affirmations or things that you learn during the summer. So it's a little journey and I'm going to show you how to do a few. Okay, for the cover, uh, I'm going to teach you how to do the holy Bog. I don't know how to say that word, but it's a very um, popular centangle that you will find online a lot. It's called Holy Bog. And begin by tracing a margin around your um, cover of your book and do parallel lines, just like this. You decide how thick you want to make them, just try to keep them as straight as possible. Don't worry 
uh, the whole purpose of disentangling is to distress, to um, relax and unwind, and you know, like let your brain have a break. So yeah, it takes practice and skill, but the more you do, the better the lines get. So just go slow. Uh, you know my videos, I am pushed to make them fast, so you're not here with me for three hours, but um, you don't have to work as fast as I am working. Uh, and you will see I made a bunch of mistakes on my sample. I even spelled summer wrong in the year. But, you know, mistakes will happen. Um, so now that you know how to make your origami book, you can make as many as you want. You can use all kinds of papers. And the purpose of your journey is for you to have uh, something to do with you all the time on those long, hot summer days when you just want to be sitting next to the fan. So this one uh, uses straight lines and you make sure that uh, you don't draw lines on top of the others. They kind of, you kind of stop, make, uh, give them the illusion of depth. Ones are on top of the other. That's very cool. I am making dots or you can do, use lines and stripes and polka dots and you can also color some of the spaces. Now here's my sampler, I'm showing you the book uh, that I got to create this lesson and where I'm using to learn a bunch of centangles and sort. Some designs are very, very complicated, but I always start with the simplest ones and that you can find a bunch online too. And I keep them close by as a reference and then I learn to work on them. I recommend you to mix some patterns, some uh, fonts, make some writings on your journey and divide chunks of paper don't uh, don't try to accomplish a big centangle at once just choose a little corner of your origami uh, book and start with something simple I'm gonna do this next one right here just to show you how the, the journey will uh, look after a few days of working on it this journey is not going to be done in one day. You, the purpose of it is to, for you to keep coming back and practicing disentangling different times during the whole summer. You can Google Centangles Ideas and just use the lines that, that you like the most. Um, try not to uh, worry if things are not perfect. As you can read in my own book, I wrote mistakes will happen because I made a bunch making the sample. And I think it's important for you to know that it's not something that you are going to show up. This is a personal project for you and you only um, to have a, a private time. So I hope you enjoy the art program as much as I did. And have a great summer and I will see you on the Zoom class and keep on centangling, Phil Falcons. Bye bye. <laughs>